This particular library originally had been established under PA 269, which is a law that was repealed, and we were still technically a legal library, but we needed to reestablish under a current and valid law. We were really going to be a district library or not a library at all because the municipalities weren't going to fund it anymore. It's very difficult for libraries when you go through economic downturn to justify your existence and how important libraries are to the community. So when we started reading about what Harwood was all about and being turned outward and re-engaging with the community, it felt like a, an opportunity to maybe use that towards strategic planning or to kind of reinvent ourselves afterwards. We solved this major problem, the community said, yes, we want a library, but now what do you do with that? Harwood is all about leaning in and all about listening, not saying, what can I do for you, but saying, tell me about what your aspirations are as a business. And then we start to think about, oh, well, you know, we can help fill this need or we can help fill that need. She brought up the idea of uh, Harwood training and the opportunity to offer to the public for almost anything people want to talk about. I thought that is a, an essential or a valuable place and a neutral space in your culture to be able to come and express yourself. We knew that our park was a, a bit weary. The playground needed some help. So Eric came to me and he said, I would really like to do a community conversation about Depot Park. Would you be willing to do that? If that's what you want, I'm perfectly happy to do that. What are your aspirations? for Depot Park. If they're going to be doing these big changes to the park, you know, who gets to make those decisions about priorities? How do you keep the community informed about who's making those choices, about the way the money is being spent? 80% is wetlands and only 20%, uh, which is at this end of, uh, of actual park space, which is used today. In the park proper, the playground and so on, there's talk of a pavilion. We, we thought about a pavilion perhaps. Julie and her team, they helped us sort of rank order a whole lot of options that we put in front of them and they go, we like this best or that second and that third. So that gives us then our buying sequence. So it becomes a practical outcome. You know, what I like about it is it's done by a neutral party who doesn't have any skin in the game at all. They're just there to kind of ferret out what is in fact honest public opinion. And so that to me is, is a huge value. The community conversation tool is a great one. It's a place of open conversation. A library's responsibility is to gather and disseminate information. Harwood is about gathering and disseminating information. We hear this all the time. Why do we need libraries? We have Google. If libraries are really going to be here decades from now, that's the question we need to ask and we need to really listen and make sure that what we're doing is actually delivering something that is going to be relevant into the future.